I've recently started driving 110 scale touring cars. It turns out that I live very close to a 110 scale RC track and uh, therefore I started driving. I started out driving with a very cheap kit from Hobby King, but I've recently upgraded to a X-Ray T4 2015 version. Because of the regulations, if you want to attend any races, you have to drive with a certain tire. And that tire needs tire heaters to work properly. Since I didn't want to go out and spend $100 or even more on a pair of tire heaters, I just decided to make my own. So this video is about how I did it and how it turned out. I started off making a single tire heater and this is what it looks like. The tire heater consists of a metal band made of an aluminum can. The aluminum band is wrapped with resistance wire and the resistance wire is hooked up to a power source. A NTC thermistor is mounted onto the band with some thermal paste to be able to measure the temperature. The power to the resistance band is controlled via a relay and everything is hooked up to an Arduino Uno. So now you kinda know how they work and this is what they look like when they're done. In the front there is a potentiometer that I can use to adjust the temperature. It goes from 40 degrees to 100 degrees Celsius. The tire heaters get warm very fast and from my calculations I'm giving about 25 watts to each wheel. And then it was my turn. I heated the tires to 80 degrees Celsius and that was a bit on the warm side. So how do they work? Well, they work really well. They're able to keep the temperature within 3 or 4 degrees of your set point. They get warm really quickly and I haven't really had any issues with them. The only issue I can think of is that you can't use the tire heaters while the body is on the car. Up until this day, my absolutely fastest lap time has been 17.8 seconds. With the new tire heaters, I was able to beat that record. First doing 17.6, then 17.5 and 17.4 in the end. And I was just getting faster and faster. I was told that 17 seconds is a great lap time on this track, so 17.4 isn't too bad. I've made this diagram to show you how all the components are connected. We have the Arduino Uno in the middle, 
and everything is powered from this 20 volt power brick so it's just a computer power brick the power brick is fed into the relay and all the way into this step down converter that uh, converts 8 volts for the Arduino Uno it's fed onto the VN pin the potentiometer is connected it's connected via ground 5 volts and uh, to a analog pin um, over here we have the tire heater this line represents the resistance wire and this little dot represents the thermistor the thermistor is fed into a voltage divider and if you don't know how a voltage divider works then you should look it up um, the resistance wire is controlled by this relay which is connected by ground 5 volts and some signal wire so the thermistor detects detects the heat and then the Arduino Uno has a set point which could which could be 50 degrees um, so very simply if this detects less than 50 degrees it's gonna turn on the relay if it detects more than 50 degrees it's gonna turn off the relay it's super simple and it's just programmed with a if statement I will add PID control to later versions. So I'll just quickly go over the important parts of this code. The beta value is determined by your thermistor. R balance is determined by the resistor that you're using in your voltage divider. R0 and T0 is also determined by your uh, thermistor. First, it's going to read the voltage from the voltage divider. And then it's going to use uh, this formula to determine what the resistance of the thermistor is. And this is where the R balance is, is used. Then it's going to use this formula to determine uh, what the temperature is. I'm subtracting 273.15 degrees to convert from Kelvin to Celsius. I'm reading the potentiometer from analog 7 and mapping it to 40 to 100 degrees. These eight lines is what controls everything. It's very straightforward.